142 years ago, a botanist named William James Beale buried 20 glass bottles filled with sand and seeds in a secret location on Michigan State University's campus. Two weeks ago, a team of scientists dug one of those bottles up, opening a new chapter in one of the longest running science experiments in the world. It was cold out, it was raining and snowing, it was the middle of the night. We'd all gotten out of bed and met um, up on campus. And uh, I have a, a map that was drawn in 1989 that uh, indicates where the, the bottles are. Okay, you guys got a lift. And we ended up digging a pretty big hole in the ground and there was no bottle there. And the snow started coming down and the birds started chirping, so we knew dawn was coming, and so we were kind of anxious to get the job done. As I would find out a little bit later, um, I got turned around on the map and I needed to be on the other side of where we were. Would it be worth triangulating again just to kind of get a sense of... Uh... Yeah, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea. We kept hitting things like rocks and tree roots, and they were kind of these false alarms. Okay, now I for real found it. You yeah. did? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely did. Sweet. Yeah. Look at that! There she was, touching a bottle that had been buried 141 years ago. We were all just really relieved to, you know, we feel like we're stewards of this experiment. The bottle was filled with sand and more than a thousand very old seeds. The original intention of this experiment was to understand how long seeds that are of plants that are common agricultural weeds can live in the soil. It was a pressing question for farmers in an era before herbicides, and Beale, a practical scientist who had already done groundbreaking work crossbreeding corn, came up with an elegant way to answer it. At first, he dug up a bottle every five years to see if the seeds would germinate. His successors extended the time to 10 years, and then to 20. And the amazing thing about this is that Beale had this vision to set up an experiment that would outlive him. The previous bottle came out of the ground in the year 2000. More than two dozen plants sprouted, moth mullen and one low mallow, even after 120 years in the ground. 21 years later, researchers say, the experiment still has things it can teach us. At heart, we really don't know how long seeds can survive in the soil. Which matters not just for agriculture, but for conservation. Some of the team's work will focus on understanding why some seeds remain viable and others don't. At least some of the 142-year-old seeds had life left in them. On Friday, a tiny moth mullen plant sprouted, Others followed. I'm a plant scientist. I see plants every single day of my life. It's what I do all summer long is measure plants out in the field. You'd think that it just wouldn't be anything to me anymore, but it was just such a special moment. The pandemic put this excavation a year off schedule, but the next bottle will be dug up in 2040. With four bottles left to go, the team plans to keep the experiment running through the year 2100. On Michigan State University's campus, Matt Miller, Fox 47.